How can you take one big piece of content and actually break it down into a whole bunch of small pieces of content? What if you could actually sit down for just 15 minutes in front of a camera, much like I'm doing with you right here right now, and turn that into content that could last you a week? What would that do for your business? What would that do for your personal lifestyle? And what would that do for your time schedule? Let's dive into this. So let's talk about this big piece of content. What I want to call this piece of content is a little piece called macro content. Now, with macro content, all you're really doing is you're just making one big piece that can be broken down into smaller pieces. Now, this one big piece, the one that you just, you, you can't beat it, you really can't beat this particular style of content, is actually video content. Exactly like we're doing right here together. The number of things you can actually do with this piece of content is staggering. Now, if you are a seasoned veteran business owner, then you're probably going to be very familiar with some of the terms that I'm going to be dropping on you. Uh, in the industry, when websites first became a thing and then Google was really becoming like the most important thing to do, what was the two things that we really needed to tackle? It was a website and then it was a blog. If we had a website and we had a blog, we made it. It was smooth sailings after that. We got that all put together. And then for the next five years, six years, our business is going to grow. We we're making six figures, seven figures. The local community was with us. It was great. And you know what? There were some great success stories that did this. There's actually another word that I'll share with you. It's called search engine optimization. Now, if you don't know what search engine optimization is, basically the short and sweet of it is, is that you are getting you're paying to put your blog content on a bunch of publishing sites article sites other blogs and you're basically getting traffic from those blogs where they have high volumes of traffic and you're getting them to come to your website and so then google says oh wow look at all this content going to this website they surely must be a credible interesting website well that's been the name of the game for a long time a long long time the problem is, is that you're investing a lot of money and you're not actually seeing a lot of tangible results in your other channels. It's going straight to your blog and your website. And for the most part, the people that are buying from you on a day-to-day -day basis, the people who are actually supporting you, they don't see any of this effort. They don't see any of this content. They don't see any of these resources. And that's the real problem with where we're going in the next five to 10 years. When we're expected to do Facebook pages, Instagram, YouTube, so on and so forth, what are we actually going to do with this content? Let me share with you the best ways that you can actually take a piece of video content that's going to, like this one's probably going to be like a 15 minute video and we're going to piece it apart so it's going to be more digestible for you and we're going to show you the things that we're actually doing fit step by step with you so that you can replicate it and actually build the volume of the business that you're looking to do. Okay, so now let's talk about this macro piece of content and how it can actually be used throughout all of your channels. I'm not just talking about Facebook. I'm not just talking about LinkedIn or Instagram. I'm actually including your website and your blog and how it actually plays a role with, yes, I'm going to say this word, search engine optimization and how you can actually, in a more cost-effective manner, get more traffic to your website and get better results than most search engine, search engine optimization platforms can provide to you on a regular basis for significantly cheaper and you're gonna be supporting your community at the same time. So let's dive into that. Now, when you take a video piece of content, what are the actual channels that you have that, or the actual channels isn't the best word. I'm gonna say, what are the actual resources that gets, that comes along with a video? The first thing that you get is you get a visual. You actually get a read on the person. You can read their psychology. You can read the personality. Uh, and therefore, you can actually get more trust with that person. You can feel more relatability to them. But physically speaking, we have visual, and then we actually have audio, and we can actually separate these pieces apart. So the first thing you can do is if this is like a 15, 20 minute video, post it to YouTube, you get both. You can extract the audio, and then you can actually put it on platforms like a podcast. If you actually have a really good audio piece of content, what I've actually seen be done before is they might record a video, they'll extract the audio, and then they'll take that audio and they'll actually put it on top of video stock footage 
And then they'll take that stock footage and then they'll publish that as video and audio as a separate piece as well. And sometimes it's just that video, uh, that video footage is actually going to be better than if you have a guy like me standing here who's flailing his arms all over the place trying to keep your attention. That's the power of video. Now, that's all without actually adjusting the size of the content inside. What if you could actually take a 15, 20 minute video with a bunch of talking points inside it and piece it down into smaller one minute, two minute chunks? What would that actually do for you? How long would that last for you? And what if you could take that and again, go video, audio, video, audio? There's one, out, one final piece that I want to use for you that's really gonna tie this all together. There's a beautiful little platform that I use on a regular basis and actually um, I'm going to make sure that we do this before we post. Uh, there's a great website called Happy Scribe. And with Happy Scribe, you're actually able to upload the audio or the video content into Happy Scribe, and it will auto transcribe your content for you for significantly cheaper than if you ever paid anyone, even on Fiverr or Upwork. It's significantly cheaper than anywhere else in the world. And then it's, it's about 98% accurate. You just go through it one more time, make the grammatical changes. And if you actually upload the video, it will auto input the subtitles for you straight into the video. So you can actually upgrade the quality of the video. And then you can download that transcription. So now what you just downloaded is a blog post, a 15, 20 minute long blog post. And the things that you can do with that now just gets that much broader. You can put it in places like your website blog. You can put it in all your different channels on Facebook, your social media. So let's just call it your social media channels. And you can use that in a whole bunch of different uh, utilizations as well. How do you think some people get a whole bunch of quotes going through their business? It's probably because they transcribe some of their greater moments. They take those quotes and they use it when it's convenient for them. This gives you a huge library that's very, very quick and easy for you to create. Now the trick is, is being more familiar with these different channels. So just to visualize out everything that I've just said, you can take a piece of video content. You have visual, then you have audio, then you can transcribe to create three different pieces of macro content, three large pieces of macro content. And from there, if we just assume that's a 15 minute video, then you can take this and at the very least, if we go back to our social funnel, just to reference this again, here's the beautiful thing about the social funnel. Right now, this would be, this video that we're doing right now would be the no stage, right? So we're actually getting to know each other a bit more. And then up here is the like stage. Now you can take this 15 minute chunk and you can actually break this down into one to two minute chunks. And with these one to two minute chunks, if they really resonate with your community, if they really resonate with your audience, they're going to say, wow, that's a really good piece of content. I wonder if there's more. And so then they go and they start digesting more. And with your posts, what you do when you create these micro pieces of content, with these micro pieces of content, and you put them on your socials, then what happens is, is that you always, always, always reference back to your original macro post. So now what's happening is if you took and you did all this stuff correctly, here's what you actually have. I'm just going to create one last visual for you. You probably now understand how when people like Gary V or um, similar influencers, they say you have no excuse not to make like 15 pieces of content today. And now you kind of, you might stand a better shot of understanding why that's true. Because if you, again, one video, that's three pieces of content in the macro form. And then how easy it is to split that up and turn it into micro pieces of content after that is actually extremely effective. Let's take a deeper dive in this whole blog technique. You've made a video and then you've transcribed it. Then from there, you want to put it on your website, right? You go on your website, and then maybe you kind of put it in a couple places, like announce it, hey, you made a good piece of content, whatever. But then it goes inside your blog. Here's what your blog should look like. You'll have the title, and then that title acts as a keyword tool as well, right? So that keyword tool is going to be great for Google to help them figure out what you're doing. So do some research in your industry. Um, 
and we may talk in more detail on how you can actually do your own keyword searches that are related to your industry. Uh, and again, this is all stuff that our staff does uh, automatically as part of our monthly services. But with your uh, keyword tools, then what happens is, is you got your title, right? Blah, 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 blah. Then inside here, right at the top, you're going to have your YouTube video. Now, why would you pick YouTube? You could use Vimeo, you could use a whole bunch of other platforms. Google is kind of the king of all search engine optimization right now. You want to be using Google's platforms. You want to play in their own ecosystem and they reward you for playing in their ecosystem. Now there's debate in the community and whether or not this has a direct effect on SEO, but there's some people who have made very strong cases for it. And so we say better safe than sorry. And besides, YouTube's great because you can actually do a subscription system as well. You can drive traffic to YouTube channel to actually get the subscription. So in here, you're going to have your 15-minute uh, video on your website. And then down here, you're going to have your transcription. And you're also going to have the ability to actually put, uh, I'm just going to call these keywords, but in reality, they are tags. These tags are also things that Google looks for when it comes down to making effective content. In here, you take this transcription, and then you go ahead, and you just fill this through. And now Google's scraping through all of this. And now, with this big piece of macro content, now you actually have the ability, with all of your micro content, with your micros, to actually redirect from your socials to your blog, therefore growing both your social media channels and growing your website and getting to be able to take advantage of the power of your own personal search engine optimization. This is an incredibly powerful little tool that you can use. It allows you to double dip on a lot of the channels that are going on out there in the world. And it will be a game changer moving forward for a lot of the ways that marketing agencies are treating their clients and working with their clients. Now again, this is something that we at Morpheus Interactive are doing for our clients currently and we're going to continue to do and continue to up level. There's ways that you can actually pay for performance in this as well in ways that actually um, triple taps. We're going to talk about the triple tap method as well, where one person can actually triple tap your entire community and how that makes a big difference for you. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned and we'll get back to you with some more extremely valuable content and how you can adjust and grow your business accordingly with all the changes that are going on right now in this business world. Because there's one thing that's for sure, today is, <laughs> in, in this day and age, I mean literally 2020, 2020 marks the year that the way that we do business as a community, it's, it's changed forever. So stuff like this is what it's going to take to really be on top of what it's going to take to actually support your communities, to run your business, and actually save yourself some time. To actually, once you invest in this in the right way, you're going to have more time, not less. But we'll get to that in some of our future videos. Take care.